Hey love bugs, it's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been uh you know, uh, watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's, uh, you know, um, let me know the positive feedback on the video is greatly appreciated. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Ocas, when you make the choice of determination and positivity, notice that certain folks uh, in your life will start dropping like flies. It's true. Um, a lot of times in our lives that, you know, we go through different changes where, you know, you determine like, you know, I, I got I got this. Uh, project I'm trying to get off the ground you know um, I'm ready to be my own boss you know so I'm ready to do my own things and it'll be certain changes that will have to be, take place and it's just like when you start changing your path your whole life within a whole <laughs> will start changing you will start seeing different people back up out of your life and you'll start catching on to different things in your life. Whatever that gut feeling is telling you, run with that. You know, it's like maybe this person, you know, don't like the fact that I'm changing. If that's what your gut's telling you, go with it. You know, intuition don't ever lie. That, that is your silent alarm. You know, it would be certain things is just coming off and saying it's not right. That person's not right. Okay, then that's the vibe is telling you if certain things are just ain't going right. You know, with certain people, certain individuals, you know, um... These are those different things that's telling you, hey, you know, uh, your intuition is right. These are different things that's changing in your life. And it's at that point where, you know, you're, you're at that point where, you know what, I need to grow. I, you know, I need sustenance in, my, sustenance in my life. You know, I want to see things in a brighter perspective. You know, what I'm doing and how I'm going about life. You know, the direction I'm going through is not fulfilling me. It's not right. You know, I feel like, you know, I'm not in the right crowd. I'm not in the right element. You know, different things in your life. And it's not saying that you better than you seeing yourself as being people are beneath you. Or, you know, you better than anybody else is about your life where, you know, universe is urging you. This is at that time. You know, life needs to really change perspectives. You know, I have so much things better out plan for you but you have to make better decisions in your life you have to make different decisions in your life different choices in your life different views in your life how you speak about your house self you know say about yourself say about other individuals see about other individuals this is why i need you to be determined and when you be determined you know a lot of things is not going to come to you easy a lot of things ain't going to unfold on you easy and these are going to be different things where you know, you probably see different, you know, like, especially if you scroll, you know, up and down your news feed and everything. It's like everybody's not for you and you're not for everybody. You have to understand that there'll be different times. You may see different posts telling you there's going to be certain people that are not going to understand the level of transformation you're going through. And it's okay. There'll be some people that are going to pick on you. You know, and really start, I've seen it, like, I've seen it in different movies. I've seen it in different people where all of a sudden... You know, I've seen, um, I forgot who it was, but I think they were on The Voice or something like that, and they really made it big, and they were like, you know, what was the highs and lows of you, you know, becoming famous, and it's like, this was something I've always dreamed of, I never knew that this would actually happen for me, and you know, and that was the high, and he said the low, it, it was just like, I started losing people that I really cared about, you know, there was a lot of people that, that was to support me. When things didn't want to go on right. And then when things start going right for my life. They start distancing themselves. You have to understand. When you start choosing positivity. Over self punishment. Over uh, you know. Uh, uh, different things in your life. Where you, you choose to. Uh, not to allow. Whatever your struggle is. To define your life. Or you're not allowing yourself to. To stay in that suffering into your life you know because a lot of times we can go through self-pity we can go through victim mentality all these different things and when we're allowing ourselves to know okay well these people kept doing this to me because a lot of times you know people see empaths as being idiots or people take your kindness for weakness or people get this uh situation 
where you know uh, they like ma manipulating you and when you choose the latter of choosing oh no uh 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 you know I'm tired of being that person like I'm the go to person you the plug for energy <laughs> you know you that plug for energy because you'll notice like it'll be certain times when you're going through that transition in life or even not, you know, I, I noticed, I, I can't really remember those times because it's like no disrespect to myself, but I used to smoke a lot of weed, so I don't know. But it's like now I'll notice that certain people I can be around or certain energies I can be around and all of a sudden I'll be feeling very drained. You know, you know, I like to be that type of person. If I'm being proactive, if I'm being productive, you know, if I'm allowing myself to start purging, you know, those are the, you know, those are the three three P's I love being able to do: being productive, proactive, and purging. You know, prophesizing all those different things. I like to be tired in that kind of way. But if it's just me allowing myself to go through, you know, go through lifelines of disappointment, upset, you know, those things. You know, some people like being around you when you that that way because they were like, no, she, they don't see that light. He don't see that light in himself. He don't see that light in himself. So I like it when he like that. But there'll be some time when you allow yourself to start seeing past that barrier of that because some kind of prophecy done came to you, some kind of empathy, uh, what what they call it, uh, epiphany, done came in. You know, is where I choose to be happy. I choose to be, you know, at peace. I want to be able to ease my mind. You know, I don't want to allow myself to lose sleep over certain situations and certain people I can't change. Only thing I can do is make better choices for me. And when you start making better choices for you, a lot of time people are like, no, no, no. Because you have to understand there will be certain things that if you start seeing that truth, that, that's they're going to lose that benefit of you. You know, and you have to be able to understand that things like that happen at times. And when you're allowing yourself to say, I'm going to choose me, I'm going to choose my peace. I'm going to choose, you know, um, to be determination, go going through determination of healing. You'll know, you'll start noticing a lot of times when you choose so much positivity and that's all you're radiating, it is going to disconnect. It's going to blow everything out the water, especially if you notice that, you know, um, what was that I was thinking about? Oh, uh, when you when you ask God or universe, you know, hey, um, anything that is not for me, anything that anybody who is not for me that you you know that secretly going against me is plotting against me, you know, or saying things against me, and you know, not being that person is true to me like I'm true to them. Can you separate them out of my life? And all of a sudden, you know, you start seeing things dropping out your life left and right anything that is not for you to where he see that this can be going toward that next level and even a lot of times certain disappointment can take you to that next level deception can take you to that next level and I'm not saying this is where you're manipulating and different things but a lot of times these situations where you get where somebody done stabbed you in your back or people don't plot against you and you allowing that to not to allow that to stop you but from you to take a mental note for you to be able to forgive and let go accept that person accept that situation for what it was and what it taught you and life lessons like you know the video I put out the other day learning the life lessons but letting go of the energy and these are the things that we're doing amongst that healing you know you're being able to allow yourself to not take it personal that's when you know you're healing. Allowing yourself to not take it personal for what other people are doing. Uh, what what people continue to do. Just be able to say, oh, okay, well, that that's that's their vibration. That's that's what it is. You know, or you get that, that situation where you're seeing that certain people just won't support you because it's you. You know, you have to understand you're choosing positivity over determination. Okay, if this is not what it's going to be, let me allow myself to disconnect from this and allow myself to move forward. You know, a lot of times I have to be by myself and, you know, I get tired of being by myself. And universe is saying when those kind of vibes happen, allow yourself to think maybe the, those same people are not on the same vibration as you, you know, uh, or you're, you're allowing yourself to see what what kind of company you can't keep what kind of company you keep with yourself you're becoming your best friend because that's what it's like you know that's the big thing it is that you're you know you're having that company with yourself are you choosing good company within yourself and that means is it, it, are you being productive 
are you allowing yourself because there'll be sometimes you can get into that mode where it's okay to press pause for a minute if you need to rest if you need to reflect okay if you're going through some different things okay allow yourself to feel that allow yourself to be honest with yourself if you feel depressed one day you feel angry the next you feel disgusted but busted and disgusted one day you know or angry the next allow yourself to feel these things but you're making determination i'm not going to stay there i'm allowing myself to feel this but i'm not going to allow myself to stay there these are the different things that is creating a whole new me we can't numb it dumb it down anymore you know and i mean i love the thing like dumb it down.com give it to me to where i need to know that is okay you know but dumbing it down to where we're allowing excuses to be our best experience instead of saying okay well it just ain't gonna work out for me instead of saying okay it just ain't gonna work out for me okay well then i may not have the right approach about those different things let me try a different one and now if you try from different avenues that it doesn't it didn't a lot of times universe will set that up for you just to see how determined you were to go from different positive you know angles or perspectives on how to see things and then you're allowing yourself to say okay well you know what it just didn't work out or it just didn't happen for me or maybe it's just not my time i can take my rest from that in a break or you know whatever and then try something else you know they always tell you try something new trying something new you know it's just like with my videos there'll be certain times i'm like uh you know that's the same vibe i don't want to use the same vibe anymore let me allow myself to do that or let me allow myself to not talk about these certain things anymore so let me go ahead and do that and i love the fact that i'm doing that because i'm learning you know, I'm changing up my process. I'm changing up my vibration. I'm changing up my frequency. Especially if it's just like universal show you, you don't move to the next level. Stop having those old, old stories come through again. You know, stop allowing yourself to use those old stories. And it's just like, oh, okay. You know, and it's allowing yourself, don't take it personal. This is where you're allowing cor cor corrective criticism to come through. And just show you, hey, they trying to get you on that level. They already where they're trying to be at. They just trying to get you there. By you being able to take a different approach on certain things. Because a lot of times if you have that, well, anytime. If you having a negative approach about something positive, they trying to move you in. And you wonder why negative is keep happening because of the approach you use it. Like, well, I don't know if I got what it takes to do that. Instead of saying this, it's like, okay, this is new to me and I'm very nervous. AF. Okay, that's fine. But I'm going I'm to give it my shot. That's all they wanted you to do. You know, you're using a positive approach to be determined. Because when you're allowing yourself to not give in and give up so quick. Because a lot of times you don't realize. You know, my mom used to tell me that. Don't give up and give in so quick. You just don't know what, what blessing you can have from just doing that approach. Just because things ain't going for you don't mean that it's not going to happen for you. Eventually happen for you. It's just a lot of times universe will put that little mustard seed in there. They must have given you that mustard seed of faith throughout this chapter in your life. To be able to say this is going to be that thing for them. But I'm going to put them through so many changes. I'm going to see how determined they're going to be to be able to you know, manifest in their life. Because we're giving them these context clues. We're giving them that energy. We're giving them that rest. They're giving them that break. But then they're giving them a new light. And then they're giving you a new prospect, new perspective. And then it'll be to that point where when things start dropping out, it is just like your your mission within that situation has ended. Now it's time to move on and go, do to something else. Yes, it might be hurtful. Yes, it may be painful. But there has to be things that, you know, life still goes on. You know, whether there are certain people in your life or whether there's, you know, uh, a certain situation in your in your your life has ended or has changed. You know, there'll be different things that, that goes into your life to where you're just constantly shifting and shifting and shifting and being able to know that. And then when you're getting to that point, you'll start noticing, OK, well, they were only supposed to have access towards me with that or I was supposed to have only access when it comes to that person with that. Or then I'll start noticing different vibrations where it's just not coming with me. Because when you start getting assertive and saying what you just going to keep initiating. Or it will be certain times where universe will keep closing doors on certain people. And they're telling you karma is showing you. Anytime where people are just treating you like an option. God will allow that to keep happening until you have that courage to let go. You know. And you have to be able to do that. And a lot of times he'll box you into certain things. And telling you regardless of what's going on into your life. You still got to let these people go. 
You like, how am I supposed to do this, this, and this? Thing? He telling you to have faith in me. Don't have faith in this situation. This certain situation is gonna crumble anyway. If it's not meant for it to be, it's gonna crumble. You know. And you're trying to figure out how you're gonna be able to do things. And a lot of times we mess up by putting our faith in 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 people. Or in things that's materialistic. A lot of times, you know, you can be that type of person that win the lottery, and that mean that money was big, but you spending it like it ain't it, it ain't gonna never. It's gonna keep watering itself. You know, it's gonna keep coming and keep coming. But if you know it's okay to spend a little, but are you are you conserving a little? Are you saving a little? Are you uh you know you you adding towards that? You know, you can spend like crazy as long as you know you placing up, you know, placing heavy deposits in. You go ahead, do what you got to do. But it's also you, hey, you better save a little rainy day. You know, you'll see different people out here in the world that and made it big, and then took it for granted, like it was gonna always be. I can do whatever I want, and it's gonna always be there. You know, the next thing you know, they down and out and right back. They already burst off word before that blessing got here. And the only person they can blame is their self. So these are the different things you have to understand. Where you're going in life, there's a lot of people that will not show up for you. There will be a lot of people that won't support you. There will be a lot of people that will neglect you. There will be a lot of people that just, you know, just drop out their life. You know, because they were okay when you watered yourself down it was okay when you dumbed yourself down it was okay when you, when you were pretending to be a person that you weren't you know cuz a lot of times we 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 will we'll, we'll place ourselves on situations where we make ourselves feel sorry for self just you know to have people that show us constantly they're they're there and it's just like you know I've been in that route before just to see, you know, who would show up for me. And it's just like, you don't even have to be desperate like that and do things like that in your life. When you know you're going through some hard times, you're going to see the people that are really going to be able to be there when you're down. You know, that's really going to be able to stick their neck out and say, you know what, this person has always did that for me. You know, this person has always, you know, um, been there to support me. Now it's, you know what, the shoe is on the other foot and I'm going to be there for them like they were for me. You know, and different things like that. You know, I've seen it where when dark decisions or dark things happen to people, you start, you, it'll start revealing people that you've seen as family. I've seen it happen to me. I've, you know, you see people as friends, people, any there, anybody that you, you carry love, heavy love for, put it that way. And all of a sudden they'll start showing you different things. Cause a lot of times it's like Roz, you know, I've, I've seen different comments drop on here where it's like Roz, you know, I really went through something and it was just like the people that end up supporting me is the ones that I overlooked, the people I took for granted, the people I didn't value, people I didn't see their worth. Then it was just like, and I said, when you start seeing people like that, you better hold the heck on to them. Like that was the last, that, like that is the last of it. Because genuine people come, it's hard to come by. It really is. People that are there for you and people that support you will cut, will check somebody in a minute when you don't sit up here and step out of bounds with folks, especially if you don't know everything that went on with certain people and they were like I was like hey 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 you know my uh, look you don't know what situation that went on with that no please don't don't put your ass your your assumption to because some should make you an ass don't do that you know and I had to be able to check myself and I'm like hey don't place no judgment on them you weren't there you know you were like oh I hope that person didn't do that or I hope this this didn't happen you know different things that take place in life you know because you're going through a lot of change in your life you know I used to be that type of person who place judgment on somebody and get mad as hell if somebody did that to me it's like you don't feel too good when the pe you do people how you want to be do done you treat people how you want to be treated how you treat other people is how you treat yourself how you see it, how you do other people is a reflection on how you do yourself. And people, how they treat you is an exact reflection on how they treat you, how they see you. You know, these are those times where it's making changes where you're starting to choose you first over everything. It's you over everything. And a lot of times it's hard for us to do that, especially if you're a kind, generous person. You'll feel guilty about saying no. Or you feel guilty like, I can't do it this time. You know. Or you'll feel guilty when you when you don't answer a text, you don't pick up the phone, you don't answer the phone, I'll answer the door. 
you know, and then that'll be happening. But there'll be some folks that don't, I mean, can really do what they want and won't care about it. You know, and those are the things you have to understand. Okay, this is something I have to accept because they'll just start saying things. Just like when they you they say, show you my friends and I'll show you. I'd rather have people by my side that are going to be genuine. I want to have people by my side that whatever I'm giving to them, they're going to give to me or even more. Just like it may be, you know, it'll be the same. Not maybe, but it'll be the same thing that's being reciprocated. You know, if it can't be that way, you have to go. You know, if it's going to be more of me depositing and you just taking away and you ain't adding nothing to that, you subtracting more than you're adding unless it's that stress and all, you can take that. I don't need that. But these are the different things that will take place into your life. You're choosing positivity. You know, over, you know, you're not self-destructing. You don't want anybody in your life that's going to destroy you, destroy what you have. You know, different things that you're trying to work on. You know, that's going to be there for you, really be there for you. But it's just like a lot of time, even the new people that are coming into your life, they tell you give it time. You'll see the truth out in true intentions, what people have for you, and you'll find out. It'll come out some kind of way. Well, it'll be a certain situation will come up, and it's like, are they going to be bold or they going to fold? And that's going to show you, should you stay or should you go? And now these are different times where when you read, when your intuition, your gut is telling you certain things, please don't deny that. Because a lot of times we deny that next and that's, you know, we paying for it later. Like, why didn't I tell you? It's like, why didn't I listen? Well, we tried to tell you. Or it's like, why didn't I see this coming? We did. We tried. We gave you caution sign. Leave that person alone. Wrong. Toxic person. You know, two meters away. Narcissistic person. Two centimeters away. All these different things is taking place into your life. Where it's just showing, it's showing you so much that um, change is taking place into your life. And when you when you choose change, you'll start noticing that change is happening everywhere through your life. Where it comes to your environment. It comes to you being able to see things a lot clearer. Clear. Clarity is coming left and right for you. You being able to have those determinations to be able to understand why certain things are taking place. And these are the times where patience is really being tested. Belief is really being tested. Your determination is really being tested. If universe don't put you on a purpose and saying, hey, this is what I want you to do. This is why I want you to share your word. This is why I want you to share your story. This is why I want you to share your experience. You know, don't, you know, if this is something that you know don't uplifted you and then put you some peace into your heart be able to share that don't bite your tongue because people get uncomfortable about that that means that they don't like it when you're telling the truth they don't like it when you're being positive you'll start to notice that just carry a conversation and see how somebody vibes or you know body expressions change and then they'll let you know that person don't like it when you're like that it's okay i'm gonna like myself being like that you know, and I'm going to keep allowing myself when I, my determination is being the best of my abilities. I'm going to keep doing that. If you don't like that, please park. Exit stage left. Yes, I pointed right. So, I mean, exit stage left. <laughs> it went straight towards that. It allowed you to keep going. So, you have to be able to choose you. Choose what is best for you and to your life. You know, anything that is going to go for you is going to be there. Anything that's going to nurture you is going to be there. But you have to be able to see, is it nurturing them to benefit off of you? Or is it nurturing you to make you a better you? Are they helping you? Or is it a, is it a you know, 50-50 situation? So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Um, I would love to give a post notification shout out to uh, Storm, Timberwolf, and Christina Valguez. Much love to you as well. If you're new to the channel, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I always leave my contact information in the description box below. It's all about, uh, you know, uh, spiritual networking. Just being able to be a part of somebody's life that, you know, you're just trying to find your way. You're just trying to make sense out of crazy situations that, you know, you keep falling yourself into. Or things just keep happening like Rosalind. You don't know the stuff to be popping off. I'm like, I, 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 I. I wouldn't be surprised, but hey, you know, when hey, Ocas, there's never a dull moment for us. Anything, it got to be amplified as being extra. It goes on to our lives. So I'm like, you know, that's a normal thing. And we go through it. And I'm here for you. I'm here for you. So go ahead and, you know, connect with me. I would love a chance to be able to help you out the best way I can in spiritual networking. Just be able to give you a broader perspective of your life purpose as well as your life and try to give you that, that understanding why certain things are taking place. So, um, uh, 
whatever we speak on is confidential i leave my uh link to my podcast as well um to there you know like i've been trying uh, i've been sharing here on my community post uh to be able to give those out and um what else was i gonna say oh yeah if you ever feel you know generous enough to drop a donation please go ahead it will be greatly appreciated i'll leave my cash app there as well so you know uh whatever you're trying to manifest into your life i send so many beautiful blessings whatever you're needing i'm, I'm giving sending those out and amplifying it to whatever it is you know stay persistent and consistent with yourself you know these things that we're going through to make big change is is not easy but it'll definitely be worth it you know you'll get to that point like rousing and speak for yourself but when you get to that point you'll see everything that's going right for you everything is going wrong is preparing for the big right so allow yourself to keep going so uh you know stay persistent and consistent enemy may want you to give up today because your blessings might blow open the door tomorrow and then it'll be more than you what you expected it to be anyway so even through your social distancing make sure you give out love light positivity words vibes frequencies you never know all those things can really you know take somebody a long way and just because you took that time to be able to do that i will take you even further please have a blessed safe weekend be responsible and safe for everything you do and see me on the next one much love peace